was uh, going to be happy to answer any questions. My understanding is the board had some questions with respect to uh, clarifying what they're what they're looking to do there. So my understanding is the town clerk has proposed adding a full time person, 100 percent full time. So in that town clerk proposed position changes 2018, you see what the total cost is for a year at that 59 549 12. It's also broken down if it were to pass in this year to be uh, for the 39 weeks. And also in doing that, there's a recommendation by the by the town clerk to uh, increase or change a position, um, and that's there for the senior bookkeeper at 39 weeks for that year. I'd be happy to answer any questions with respect to adding that position. I believe that's you know a justification that town clerk should make to you to you folks. Um, for anecdotally, we see the lines increasing, but I think uh, she should come in and, and defend the position of why it's important to increase it. I wanted to answer your questions with regard to the finance impact. I'd be happy to answer any of those. And she did that night. When she yeah, was she did. There. She did yeah. come in. Yeah. 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 And explain, express why she want, needed the position and wanted right. the change. Questions, Regina? Um, no, I mean, I'm just looking at this right now, but thank you. I, I would say this, but, Mr. Chairman. Uh, if I may, I know jumping sure. out here. Uh, they're doing th it's a it's a multi million dollar business, three point something million dollars in revenues and fees. And, and uh, I would move the um, uh, entire budget from uh, the town clerk. That's correct uh, to incorporate these uh, uh, personnel changes and charges. Uh, the cost for thirty nine weeks forty four thousand six hundred sixty one eighty four, and uh, the senior bookkeeper thirty nine weeks for two thousand. Six hundred and seventy-six. Is that correct? Am I reading this that right? Correct, you're right? Eighty-five cents. 85. I would. I would move that budget and those uh, personnel changes uh, with that data. Well, I would ask. I would just caution the board that, that also, in addition, what's not here is in order to accommodate that additional personnel, there will be some uh, manipulation of the workspace necessary right. uh, in order to accommodate that fourth window, which is, I understand, her goal there. There is not money currently carried for that, but that's something that's going to be required to do, and I'm sure we'll we'll deal with that. But I just want to put that on the table. Yeah. Yeah. We have a motion, and we have a second. Yeah, I'll second. But can I just ask a question first? Sure. Because I'm sorry, but this town clerk assistant full time and senior book. So those are two new positions. No, the full time person is a completely new, hundred percent new right. position. Okay, and then the this other is, is additional for the senior book. Correct. Keeper. Basically, it's a promotion. Okay. That's a bump. Correct, right. right. In the contract, in the Teamster contract right now, there's a bookkeeper position and a senior bookkeeper. Okay. And so she has someone in the bookkeeper position that she's wanting to promote to the senior bookkeeper. Correct. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. Okay. All right. So, and then we have the paralegal for. That's the, the next. Question. That's another issue. Yeah, but we do. Are we do it? Is this? We just do the town clerk right now? Yeah. Just the town clerk. Okay. Yeah. I'll second the motion. Rick, do you have anything? Mm -hmm. I, I have a question, and I don't want to put anybody on the spot. We're here. Do you have any thoughts on this? Well, I periodically come out and look at what's going on downstairs, and uh, we have a lot of very frustrated citizens coming in to try to register cars and register to vote and do a lot of other things. And that line frequently is halfway across the room, and at the end of the month or the beginning of the following month, it's almost out the doors. So it's very, very long. There are long waits. People are getting very frustrated. We need to do something to solve that time problem. So I think you need to do this. Do you have any thoughts on this? No, I, again, I, we've listened to Jane speak on this, and we absolutely see that. You know, I, I like to see some high data to show the increase and such, but, but it's very difficult for her to produce that data. I had a conversation with her today. But again, anecdotally, we can, we can tell you, we see it. You know, I get called from time to time when there is a citizen down there who is less than cordial. Um, and have to go down and kind of assist with with diffusing some of those. We've definitely seen an increase, at least since I've been here in that, absolutely. Um, so, I, I would say this was the number of people there, and again, uh, license and permits. I know permits is in there, but uh, $3.739 million business at those windows. That's a it's big a business. It's a lot. I can I could tell you, Mr. Chairman, uh, the Assistant Town Manager is absolutely correct. Uh, we in the past have had maybe one or two people a year that we're having problems with. That That is constantly climbing now because of this aggravation. It happens quite frequently now. Okay. And in, we're voting on the whole budget then, you're saying, Phil? 
yes, sir. voting on her three percent raise. So too. we haven't talked about that. That's an issue again. It's it's you've historically done several things. When it's come through as another elected official, when there's a request in there last year and, and other times, this board has just passed that on as a part of the budget. Um, and she can justify or the elected official speak to that. And that's a challenge you have with several other boards here. You know, right. um, So that's what you did last year. You can choose to do that or you can choose to do something different with it. It's really a political discussion for you folks to make on that. Um, but 3%. Uh, you know, I did some looking today on what her salary is uh, using the old NHMA data, um, mm. and it doesn't seem out of line from what I see in there, absolutely. For the record, Mr. Chairman, the 3% that was requested is $68,853.63. Any other discussion? No? Well, to All be right. clear, that 3% wasn't that entire number. That's what the new salary would be at the end of the addition of the 3%. Just didn't want to think. No, right, right. clear on that. That's mm -hmm. what the new salary would be with the three percent. It's currently sixty-one nine nine two. Yep. Um, it would then move up to with the three percent sixty-three eight fifty-three. I would just sixteen hundred bucks. Yeah. Like to say, since we're discussing about how people act when they're in line, they ought to just pay attention to what happens in another state. Because as long as the lines are here, they're wow. nothing compared to when you live in Florida, California, or anywhere else I've ever lived. Or when you gotta go to the state. Yeah. Or the DMV. Or, like yeah. after that, yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah. And actually, these lines are nothing. A yeah. lot of people, someone True. had posted about the town, you know, how you can do the registrations online. And I was surprised that a lot of people, I mean, I just saw it on social media that a lot of people didn't know that they could do that. I just saw that, mine today, it came on my phone. Yeah, if you already, if you're registering the same vehicle, you don't have to come here. You That's can right. do it all online. Yes. Right. And all of that is on our website, and folks are able to do that. The only other thing I, I would say is that Rusty's not here and we're voting on a budget. That's, we're, vote, we're voting on something that we said we were going to get more information from. For. That's the only thing I would say. Joe Call, you're the chairman. You want to postpone it until next time? Yep. And if I'm out next week. Well, we know you're, we, don't we? You know my position, right? We know your position. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Chairman.